If planning a jaunt to the Netherlands, consider beginning your tour at The Hague, the Netherlands' third largest city after Amsterdam and Rotterdam. It's a fascinating city, located on the North Sea coast and is home to many of the Netherlands' hidden jewels. Curiously, The Hague is not the country's capital, but it is the city in which the government of the Netherlands is headquartered and the home city of the Dutch monarchy. It's also famously home to the United Nations International Court of Justice and International Criminal Court, making it a hotspot destination for global political types. The Hague has tons for first time and frequent visitors to enjoy, providing you with the opportunity to immerse yourself in this historic city. Visits to the Maritzhuis and the Peace Palace, as well as the park at Landhut Klingendal are among the best things to do in the city. To make the most of your trip to the Netherlands, make sure to check out this vid and enjoy the best things to do in The Hague. A visit to the outstanding Marwitz Host Museum is one of the best ways to kick off your vacation. It is a must-see for anyone who enjoys art history, particularly the classics. If you're a fan of art and history, visiting Marwitz Host will provide you with hours of enjoyment. As you wander through the exhibits, you'll find paintings from the golden ages of the Netherlands. This museum is housed in a magnificent palace built in the classical style in 1641. Its collections notably include artwork by legendary artists such as Rembrandt and Vermeer. Among these treasures, you can admire Rembrandt's Anatomy Lesson and Rohir von der Weyden's Lamentation. During your trip to the museum, you can also participate in lectures, seminars and activities relating to the arts that are displayed. The Hague's roots in law and peace run deep, and no better place illustrates that than the world-famous Palais or Peace Palace. The Peace Palace is a massive brick structure that was constructed between 1907 and 1913. The building is a blend of Gothic and neoclassical styles and is flanked on either side of its long arcaded facade by a steeply pitched roof and a tower 80 meters in height. On its gorgeous grounds, the palace is home to several renowned institutions and courts of law. The International Court of Justice, the Permanent Court of Arbitration, the Academy of International Law, and a substantial international law library are located within the palace. The interior of the palace is lavishly decorated with marble from Italy and Brazil, exquisite wood panelling, and beautiful iron railings. The palace's grounds are also home to some lovely gardens, where you can take photos or relax. If you're looking to witness more of The Hague's indoor wonders, the Mathematical Museum of Escher in the Palais, or Escher in the Palace, can't be overlooked. Don't worry, it's really not a ruse to get you to do that math homework you skipped yesteryear. The Winter Palace of the Queen Mother Emma, originally a royal palace, has been transformed into a fascinating museum dedicated to the work and masterpieces of lauded Dutch artist M.C. Escher, famous for his use of mathematics and geometry in his incredible graphic arts. The museum has beautiful permanent collections of geometric, symmetrical arts on display. Escher in its Palais is home to about 150 of M.C. Escher's most famous prints, mosaics, and other creations. The museum encourages both interaction and participation, making it a great day out for both children and adults. Activities include a scavenger hunt for children, the opportunity to participate in arty experiments, and mind-bending interactive optical illusions. If you need a break from this brilliant brain-boggling museum, grab a coffee and a waffle from the cafe, or visit the gift shop where you can purchase some arty souvenirs. A visit to the Grotte of St. Jakobskirk, that's the Great or St. James's Church, and admiring its architectural grandeur is another of the most enjoyable things to do in The Hague. At over 300 feet, it is one of the city's tallest buildings, and was constructed during the 15th and 16th centuries in a classic Gothic style. This Protestant church is not only beautiful because of its stunning exterior, but it is also beautiful because of its opulent interior decorations and ornamentation, relatively uncommon of many Protestant churches in Europe. The stunning vaulted ceiling alone is well worth the visit. Numerous memorials and mausoleums, including those of Constantin and Christian Halchens, are among the highlights to see in your visit. There's also the huge 19th century pipe organ, known as the Knights of the Golden Fleece, which contributes to the church's interior beauty. Regular services are held at the church, 
and it is frequently used as a menu for weddings, concerts, and banquets, as it has done for centuries. While touring The Hague, enjoy a day basking in the beautiful ambiance of the old city as you stroll back in time to the historic Binnenhof, or in a court. The Binnenhof is a complex of buildings in the heart of the city dating back to 1250. Once a dwelling for The Hague's ruling aristocrats, today it houses both chambers of the Parliament of Netherlands. The Prime Minister's office houses the country's Ministry of General Affairs, the States General of the Netherlands, and is located on the north wing of the complex. Admire the exquisite Riddersaal, also known as the Knight's Hall, a magnificent space that is used for state functions and receptions. Aside from the hall's intricate beauty, there is also an exquisite courtyard outside the Knight's Hall, ideal for unwinding and admiring the wonderful neo-gothic fountain in the center of the courtyard. The Maduro Dam is a must-see attraction in The Hague and should not be missed. It is a genuinely one-of-a-kind attraction that visitors of all ages will enjoy. The most well-known feature of the Maduro Dam is its vast display of miniatures, depicting famous landmarks and everyday life in the Netherlands in minute detail. It also includes some of the country's most popular attractions, allowing you to see all of the Netherlands' major landmarks here in case you don't have time to see them in person. Meticulously recreated sites include the Peace Palace in The Hague, as well as the Anne Frank House and the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. Participating in interactive displays that focus on wind energy and Holland's ubiquitous windmills are among the other fascinating things to do here. There's also an interactive play area for kids that's always a big hit. For a truly exceptional travel experience in the Netherlands, you simply must visit the historic city of The Hague. Frequently overlooked as a tourist destination, The Hague is the perfect Dutch vacation for those looking for something a little different and thoroughly rewarding. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Instagram via our handle at viatravelers or check out our blog at viatravelers.com.